Listening Prayer What is God telling you? In some circles, listening prayer is just another term for contemplative prayer. However, in this instance, I'm referring to something different. Recently, a friend wrote and shared about an awesome experience she'd had in prayer. As she described the experience, warning signals began sounding in my mind. She described a group coming together to pray for one another. But this wasn't the normal, let's surround you and pray for you group, which is to be encouraged. Rather, a person who needed prayer was chosen and then instructed to be silent and listen to what God was telling her. During her time of silence in another room, a small group prayed for her protection. From what? I'm not sure. And that she would hear what God was speaking to her. After a few minutes of silence, the person then shared with the group what had come into her mind. Believing that this was the voice of God speaking to them, the group then surrounded her and prayed over what God had told her. It could be an emotional wound from the past that had not yet healed or a certain situation in her current life. While this may not be on the same page as entering an altered level of consciousness, I think warning is due. There is nothing wrong with surrounding each other in prayer as we lift up our burdens. We should do more of this. However, we want to be careful about encouraging people to be silent to hear God's voice and then, and this is the key, taking whatever thoughts that come into the mind as direct communication from God. The Bible says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Jeremiah 17 verse 9. God does speak to us through the Holy Spirit, but this is primarily through His Word. We can't just sit down, be still, and assume, okay, now I'm listening and God is going to speak to me. What comes into our minds might be from Him, but it mostly likely will be either our own thoughts or promptings from another spirit. Interpreting our random thoughts as direct communication from God is walking on dangerous ground. Thus, we are encouraged to immerse ourselves in Scripture, knowing that the primary method He uses to speak to us is His Word, not the stillness of our minds or personal thoughts, meditating on passages of Scripture and asking God what He wants us to learn from these passages or having a group Bible study and asking teammates, how did God speak to you through this passage is perfectly acceptable. The difference is, it's all based on the Word.